what you see on screen are two different classes namely student and person these have different properties and functions assigned on their prototype as of now they don't have any relationship between them but in this video we'll try to make student as a child class of the person class for that we need mainly three steps first saying that whenever we create new instance of student it should have all the properties of the parent class assigned on that new instance as of now if i'm creating new instance it just has the student the the properties from student class second it should have the parent assigned in the prototype chain properly this is where we have two different ways namely using new and using object.create we'll look into both and we'll see the advantages and disadvantages of both then third step is assigning the constructor back properly so let us start with the first step so what we need to do is we need to assign the properties from the parent class on the new instance of the child class so for that we'll need to call the parents constructor in such a way that those properties are added to the new instance so this is the same code so in this i'm adding this line saying so i'm calling the parents constructor so i'm calling the parents constructor by setting this context to the new object being created and passing the properties that parent want so let's see what we get as an object now so you can see we get name age defined on the new object as well as the roll number so this is what this line of code is doing but still we don't have the parent in the prototype chain anywhere and hence we will not be able to call the walk function on the person prototype now let's try assigning the the uh, person in the prototype chain properly one thing to take care about here is as you'll be replacing the student prototype properly you need to do that before assigning any function on the student prototype so here we will do student prototype and we'll say new person okay so now you see the person being assigned over here and you see the study function from the student and walk function from person as well so you'll be able to call both of the functions from child as well as from parents and you have all the properties from child and parent so now there's another way of achieving this prototype chain how we do that is so let's look at that in another window so this is just the same copy pasted code so in this we'll comment this line and we'll say oops sorry student dot prototype is equal to object dot create person dot prototype now let's see what it returns for the newly created first student object so it is also giving us all the uh, properties assigned because uh, this statement is still there in the prototype chain as well you can see person you can see the study function as well as the walk function but the advantage in the case of object dot create is it is not creating these unwanted age and name properties to be undefined inside the parent why because when we say new person it calls the constructor of person as well because we are not passing any data over here it is creating those age name properties to be undefined although when you'll try to access it on the left hand side as well you'll get age to be 26 only because it comes first in the prototype chain but having this age and name to be undefined is not required so I'll always suggest using object.create is the better way to, of doing it. Now let's compare this object.create way with the new way how ES6 is achieving inheritance. Yep. So 
this is a basic class structure in ES6. If you're not familiar with this, I have a different video for that that you can check out. And then for inheritance, we use extends keyword. Let me tell you that extends in backend only does object.create. So that means even the creators of JavaScript are using object.create for inheritance. Now, if you look at the object created in this case, in case of ES6 and compare it with the one in created in case of object.create, it looks similar, but there's just one thing missing. That is that we don't have student constructor on the prototype of student object we have person constructor we but we don't have student constructor that is because we are replacing the prototype completely so as we are replacing the prototype we'll need to assign the constructor back on the prototype so why we need this statement so that whenever we look at a, a object of student we come to know that it is actually an object of student by looking at this constructor function. Otherwise, just by looking at this object, you can't tell that this object is be being created from student class because it doesn't have any reference to the constructor of student class. But in this case, as we have added this statement, we'll do have the constructor assigned properly. So we have student constructor over here and then we have person constructor in the prototype chain as well. I hope I have clearly explained everything that I intended to. In case you guys have any doubts, feel free to ask them in the comment section. In case you don't agree with what I have said, you can criticize me as well in the comment section. And if you have learned something, you can like this video. Just overviewing that, overviewing what we have done in this video. So we have used object.create for assigning the prototype. We have called the parent constructor inside the student constructor for assign the for assigning the properties on the new student object. And then we have the statement of assigning back the constructor on the student prototype.